Can you move your... I don't want you showing your butt to everybody. Okay, you are obviously doing a lot right now. You're doing the most. Hi, my name is Adriana, and today I will be doing the end of your book tag. So this tag was created by Ariel Bissett and has now become a booktube staple for this time of the year. It mostly focuses on your reading plans for the rest of the year, so I figure probably best to be within reaching distance of my TBR shelf. I'm also kind of working through the last bits of some symptoms of a head cold, so might as well do the video from bed. <laughs> So the first question is, do you have any books you need to finish by the end of the year? I don't really DNF books, and I try not to read multiple books at the same time, so I should be good to just kind of continue on with my book-by-book goings-ons. <laughs> The next question is, do you have any autumnal books that you'll be transitioning into the more wintry part of the year? And I have two that mostly fit into this. One of these is an arc I have called The Lost Witch. It comes out in December, but it's definitely got like those fall vibes. It is a fantasy witchy book where a modern witch? I believe gets sent back to like her village but in the 1920s. So it kind of got some time travel-y. I don't know what kind of time of the year it takes place, if it takes place over multiple years, but just kind of witchy time travel fantasy that seems definitely a little more autumnal. Are you in dire need of attention? The other one I have is actually right up here, Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. This is the story of Perseus, but told through the lens of the women in his life. So Danae, his mother, Medusa, obviously the woman he murders, and then Cassandra? No, Andromeda. Andromeda, the woman he eventually ends up marrying. So I'm really excited to see what Natalie Haynes does with this story. I've really enjoyed everything I've read from her so far. The creation of Medusa and her eventual murder is one of my favorite myths in Greek mythology, so I'm really looking forward to seeing a different take on it. Greek mythology classics gives me more of like a school time, fall time vibe than winter, but like I said, nice little transition into the real cold time. The next question is, are there any new releases you're still waiting on by the end of the year? And not really. I do have quite a few arcs. I have The Heart of the Sun Warrior, which comes out November 15th, so I guess before I post this video. Like I said, that lot, the arc I have of The Lost Witch comes out in December. Scatterlings is another arc I have, and that also comes out in December. So I'm not really waiting on on those as releases because I technically already have access to them. <laughs> so I'm just bad at reading. Question number four are what are three books you really want to finish by the end of the year? Obviously everything I've stated so far I definitely want to be reading. I also really need to read For Whom the Bell Tolls because this was one of my goals to read this this year and there's not a lot of time left in the year to get this done. I'd also really like to squeeze in one more Sigma Force novel for the end of the year in my continuation of rereading the entire series. So the Judas Strain, really like to get done. And then the last one is I got an arc of Cradle of Ice, the second book in the Moonfall trilogy by James Rollins. So I'd really like to get that read in December by the end of the year because it comes out in late January, early February, I believe. So I'd like to get that done and get all my feedback sent before it comes out. Question number five is, are there any books that could shock you and become your favorite of the year? At this point, I think it'd be really, really hard for something to beat out Daughters of Sparta. I enjoyed that book so much, but I think Stone Blind, like I talked about, I am so excited about this one. I think it really could, it could beat it out. We'll have to see. Although that wouldn't necessarily be a surprise. <laughs> I suppose Cradle of Ice could be a pretty good favorite. I really enjoyed the first one, but it's... I think James Rollins was working through some like getting back into fantasy writing things, so Cradle of Ice could be really really great. As far as contenders for potentially my favorite book of the year, I would say those two are probably it. <laughs> and then question number five is have you started making reading plans for next year? And yes, I'm always thinking about what I want to be reading next. I'd really really like to get my hands on 
specific translations of the Iliad and the Odyssey. I haven't quite nailed down what specific translations I want, but I have some ideas in mind of what I'm looking for in a translation. I would also really like to try the Shadow of the Gods. I'm pretty sure the, the Shadow of the Gods, the first book in that series, you know, I kind of set myself a goal of reading an intimidating long fantasy book this year with the Poppy War trilogy and it worked out really well so I'd like to try that again with this one. I already have a bunch of arcs that I really need to get through before they come out. They have all sorts of publication dates for next year. Basically everything on here I would like to read. Ooh, I also know Nora Roberts' fantasy series. I think it's the Dragon Choice series. Dragon Heart Legacy. I have the first two that I borrowed from my mom and I haven't started them yet because I just want to binge the whole thing. So when the third one in this series comes out, I want to binge the three of them together because I'm pretty sure I'm going to love them. That is all the questions. It's a very short and sweet tag. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.